Hey, hello, Pisces. Hello, my fishy friends. Hello. How you doing? You guys, I love you with all my heart. I really do. I'm like super Pisces myself. My mood swings anyway. I have a moon in Pisces, you guys. Welcome to our world, right? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. My darlings, my loves, let me do a blessing for you. Father, I ask that you look after the Pisces on the planet. Help them to vibrate at the highest resonance they can with the most, the most collected mindset, emotions, incredible wisdom, and divine protection. We thank you for sending the angels to them to minister to them. Thank you for the Lord and his love. Reminds us to stay rooted and grounded in our faith. Thank you for Pisces' kindness and generosity. And we're asking you to take notice of their situations, Father. Bring them into alignment. Bless their efforts. Pulling on the energies of air, fire, water, earth, and fire as well. And, uh, ascended masters, ancestors, and guides of the holy nature only. We're very picky about our energy fields and who we um, allow in our space. And I just did a, um, when I lit up this Palo Santo, I used this uncrossing powder. Anything that has crossed us in any way, shape, or form that was intended to harm has been blocked and sent back to the sender, return to sender, right? I did that on your behalf. I hope that you... Uh, Hit that like button for me so that it will have a stronger effect because you connected to it and agreed to it. Anything that's not meant for you, honey, why would you even, uh, even if you don't know it's coming, you know, because we're psychic, right? We can see these things coming in the air. Okay, I know you're thinking, I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Pisces, my lovelies, how are you showing up? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Your energy here, what's going on with you. And then the person that has not spoken to you, reached out, no contact whatsoever, right? Because we like to know that. We were curious, right? Unless we're not. And then I'm just bringing you confirmation, right, Pisces? We're going to find out what the dealio is with that person. And uh, we're going to, when that's done... I'm going to look at new love for you guys, okay, with my Egyptian tarot. Spirit, Holy Spirit, thank you for my Pisces. Ask me to tap into the collective of Pisces, someone rising, Venus, North Cross Crosswatchers are welcome here because we thank you. We ask you to keep your vibration high. Understand that uh, this may or may not play out from your perspective or it might play either way. You'll know that. These are not gender-specific readings. You love who you love. I'm asking the divine to come in and help me see Pisces at this time and what you guys deserve and have coming. Spirit, show me for the collective of my lovely Pisces. Not a reversal on this. You're standing in the position where you are, have finally agreed with yourself. You're like, okay, I'm just going to hold my energy together and I'm going to mean what I say and say what I mean because I don't want to play games anymore. I'm busy working. I'm busy working on myself, money, working on projects, and maybe a relationship, right? Yes, show me, uh, that is, that is awesome. What is that challenge though? What's the challenge associated with that? Being able to uh, not commit necessarily, but get the work done. This could be projects and work as well. It could be family, I don't know. Uh, eight is destiny card and the knight of wands is, um, I'm in and out, I don't commit, I'm not. You know, but it is very productive energy. It's like somebody going forward and following their passion, right? What is the breakthrough for my lovelies? Ah, oh, ten of cups, you guys. What happiness, full on, unadulterated joy. Yes, babies, I like that. May you experience that. Your advice, though, is in order to keep that joy, you might have to not communicate with somebody specific. They could be an air sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why are you being told to block this person? Or they have blocked you. 
Pisces. Who, what is this person you're not speaking? Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in reverse. You're not taking anything from this. No, you're rivaling that person in energy field. This Scorpio has done you wrong or something, and you just left. You're going to calmer waters. You're taking only what you need. Um, spiritually, you've had a spiritual revelation as to what's most important to you. You're keeping things really cool under your hat. And you're out of here. You're going towards your joy. Yeah. You do have someone, though, from your past that tends to hover. This is the Six of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me about that person. And then we'll go on. Yeah, they didn't bring you any joy or stability. They were playing with you. And they're taking your time. And you're like, what the hell? Ten of Pentacles is when you've got wealth and family. Some of you could be leaving family. Breaking out on your own. Uh, I don't know. It seems like it would be the right thing to do in some cases. The Ten of Coins in reverse. Explain. Yeah, you've been looking for this opportunity for some time. You've been watching something or someone for some time. Sorry, just a minute. Can I right back? I'm finishing up the Pisces reading. Okay. 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 Sorry, that's my website manager. All right, that's my manager. Okay. Pisces, who is this person that you're not speaking to or not speaking to you or not around or disappeared or whatever their bag is? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out from my amazing Pisces. Apology for the delay, but God, you guys, Mercury's retrograde and everything's uploading slow. I don't like that. Tell me about this person. Okay. This person is, um, well, three cards came out on that. Who is this person that you haven't heard from? On the collective of Pisces, someone rising Venus. Oh, if you have Pisces in your chart, this could apply to you. You'll know when the cards come down and the messages come out, if it's your story or not. All right? We want to know this person and what they're up to. Pisces, love you. Okay, this is somebody that um, they didn't get justice, or they could be a Libra. This is a justice card. This is someone that stands up for you, stands up for other people, tells the truth, brings about righteous uh, endings and outcomes for people. Um, but this could be a Libra in the reverse. It could be. Tell me about this justice in reverse for that person. Wheel of Fortune, they're getting karma. Oh, bad juju on that one. Really? Seriously? Yeah. They could have been somebody you were married to. It could have been someone that you um, thought was a twin flame. But they were a false twin flame. They kept making offers to you. Um, to save the relationship where you just kept giving your heart to them all the time, but they didn't have the love that you needed. When the Queen of Cups is in reverse, she's not offering any empathy, sympathy, kindness, love, emotions, or anything. She's quite a bitch, actually. Um, let's see, call it what it is, right? Yep. This could have been a spouse. Um, it could be someone that had a spouse. Um, and... What is this King of uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in reverse about? But somebody told the truth or somebody somebody came in real quick and and, and made a dis said something real fast or they're going to, and it's going to shift everything. There's a gossip here too. There's a, uh, a Leo gossiping in the background somewhere. I have a feeling this is somebody's reading. I need you to tell me if it is. Yeah, so there, uh, this person is trying to decide what the heck to do. Really? Because they've been put down. They've been put in a position where they're, he they're trying to heal from their stupidness, their lack of wisdom, their lack of insight, their lack of sacredness. Yes? So what, uh, what will be their outcome, this person? The hangman, not being able to do anything, only looking back and going, wow, uh,
So where is this person? What's going on? Share with me. King of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be another Pisces, but I doubt it. I think it's a Scorpio uh, with Virgo in their chart. I do. They could also have a, a, a witty little wit in mind, but they're not loving. You understand? They're not in love with you. They probably didn't do you well at all, see? But now their head's gone. They're like in the Nine of Swords, and they've run out of options, and they're not offering love to anybody at this time. They're in the Five of Pentacles. They're out in the cold, away from anyone that could build with them, from anyone that could reach them. Yes? So let's see the story behind them. Make sure that you hit that like button for me, you guys, so other Pisces can have access to this message because the psychic energies are really powerful right now. Really powerful. Let me speak. This is a masculine. He came out in reverse, which tells me he went in reverse, which means that he in inverted, which means that he was a selfish person. Tell me more about this person. Yeah, they've been sent to the... They have been sad about what happened to them in this situation, but they made a big mistake, and now they can't rescind it, and you're out of the picture. Yep, and they feel orphaned and out in the cold, and poor, poor, pitiful me, but they didn't think about that when they started doing all this wonky stuff in the background, did they? No, they didn't, to their divine feminine. They weren't even, at, yep, God said, definitely not for you. So now you understand, if this relates to you in any way, shape, or form, this person um, <clears throat> could be a Libra, could be a Pisces, Scorpio, could be a Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let me see, we'll go with the upright ones. Yeah, so the upright ones are Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo. So that would be this person that you haven't heard from. I'm telling you what I see. Now, I don't know about all the details of that scenario, but that was quite powerful. Pisces loves. I'm using the Egyptian tarot now. Let's see what wonderful love is coming towards your direction. So now that all that's understood, you know, and you got your eye out and you're watching, you're moving forward. You're not going to put up with none of this crap. And you're like, I don't give a shit. I'm done. I, I have this lovely life I want to go live, and you're not a part of it anymore. Why? Because you um, put me in a compromising position. You didn't love me, and you didn't take care of me. So Pisces is like, nope, I'm going to go for happy, happy. Yeah? What's their happy, happy? Show me spirit, Holy Spirit. Show me Pisces, happy, happy. This is the Knave of Swords. That would be the Page of Swords is coming in with some kind of a message for you. It's an insight, a conversation, communication of some sort. Tell me more. And um, I want to tell you how tired they are, though. They're very tired. They only want to come forward if they know that you're going to be in it to win it. Their challenge is... Um, Getting what it is that they want. This is the Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag. They are going to want to pull. They're waiting for their ships to come in. They're waiting for something to happen. Their breakthrough is the High Priestess. Uh, and that would be you probably because you're known as a High Priestess to me in a lot of ways. Because of your special skills and your sensitivities in the spirit world, my Pisces people. All right. Tell me why the high priestess is here. She keeps things to herself until she's ready to reveal them. And there's like conditions for that. Like you have to respect her first. You have to help make sure that when you're in her environment, that, or he or she, that you are raising their vibration because they're tired. Yeah, they're like you, six of swords. But their advice is your outcome. So maybe their advice is to head towards you, right? And bring what forward? Spirit, show me this new love for um, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ah, oh, celebration, joy, happiness, laughter. That's what they're supposed to be bringing to you. Yeah, that's what they're saying. 
Clarify the High Priestess. King of Wands, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Full of passion, full of projects, full of power, full of creativity. Um, gets things done, fights for people's rights. Will stand up for you. Will make sure that your, your relationship's peaceful. Queen of Pentacles, be devoted and committed. Yep, this could also be Virgo the Hermit. And the heart font shows up um, for the fact that they would be willing to marry. That's what I have. Let me see what the romance angels say. And don't, don't worry, you know, this isn't everybody's story, but oh my God, the energy, right? You know what? You got to get, let's see, what do they say? Expressing their love worth waiting for. Oh my God. Look at that. Bottom of the deck, soulmate. And you're up here like, okay, I'm being temperate and patient. I'm letting things go because, damn it, I deserve love. And I got romantic feelings surging through my body. You're paying attention to red flags for the uh, schmuck in the background that wants to come back. Um, but you don't want to make the effort with them. You don't give a crap. You're done. Their little game. They can go play their game somewhere else. Retreat. You're not in the mood at this time to play with their codependency games. And you're freeing yourself. If you like this reading, please hit the like button. Thank you so much. Please, by all means, go and do yourself a favor if you haven't yet. Make sure that you get it your hands. If you're doing a process of eliminating someone from your life because you know how damaging and karmic they are, you need to get some of this stuff. This comes, um, this is clear negative energy and it comes with um, a prayer and it's powerful, powerful. It literally helps you to clear your energy your process is from within when you're going through soul work, um, your energy field around you, where you work, in your car, at home. Um, this is amazing because Michael the Archangel will come in and completely obliterate the negativity. And you have crystals to, to protect you as well, to enhance your sacred protection energy. $15, 15% off on my website. I also have this beautiful, beautiful romantic scent. It's great. It's earthy, florally, and fruity. It's just delicious. Attract love and abundance. And these are so pure, you can spray them on your face, right? I do. This is gorgeous. When you want to call in everything that's intended for you, this is your product. Everything is prayed over, blessed, and um, accentuated with Reiki empowerment. Okay? So it's got Reiki empowerment on it which is very strong for you to get your goals met, right? Spiritually and divine protection as well. This is sacred holy oil. This is so special. This is so beautiful and elegant. It's designed to enhance your spiritual practices. If you're a tarot reader, oracle reader, sanctify your space with this. This is like, um, I hear Aya in my head. Aya Mama Aya energy. Palo Santo, Nag Champa, and a few other lovely scents. It's sacred. It's holy, and it's actually made with holy water, right? And pure pH water. But it's all pure oils. So sanctify your sheets, your bed, where you sleep. If you need to heal, this is for helping you to accentuate your healing. Go to my store. You can buy all three for 33 And then, of course, you know, you could get 15% off. If you enjoyed this reading, Pisces, and you'd like to have your own, please reach out to me on my website, robinsrealmreadings.com or .net, either one they lead to me. And if you would like to take advantage of my special, I have a $22.22, $22.22 for a full reading. Whatever it is you need to know, I'm just telling you it's available right now. So go to the website. Thank you for anyone that donates, feels the uh, desire to donate to the channel and bless me. So girl, so I can give me some new decks, baby. There's so many decks I want to get. I love you. I thank you for being here, liking. Make sure you subscribe and hit the all bell. And just thank you very much. If you want to get in on free readings, you can join me on Patreon.com and gifts. All right? I just mailed out a tarot deck with some beautiful love incense and a beautiful necklace. She's going to be blown away when she gets that necklace because it's a little robin's nest. <laughs> it's really cute. Love you so much, Pisces. Thank you for your support.
Namaste.